Neil Gerald said we have achieved in Walthamstow is because of the ethnic minority vote here and because of the 13 black and Asian councillors who sit on Walthamstow Council. The Labour Party recognises at last that it cannot form an administration here, it cannot form a government without the support of the black and Asian community because this community is not going to accept it what David Cameron, the Conservative, says, because they know in dealing with Cameron, they are dealing with someone who will say anything in order to get elected. So our vote is absolutely crucial. The second issue that I want to talk about is your role in that progress. And that means your involvement, not just in politics and in the Labour Party, but it also means your involvement in the community at large. I'm not delighted that Stella has been elected on an all-woman shortlist in order to be the candidate for the Labour Party to succeed Neil Gerrard. He can't have a better person to succeed him than Stella. But there are other parliamentary selections coming up. And I want to make sure that we see a black or Asian candidate selected in North London. I would like to see a black or Asian candidate selected in Lake. The way we make progress is not to let other people fight our fights, but to make sure that we take our place in the leadership in this country and in this party, so that we have our own representatives. Of course, people like Stella and Neil and Peter and all the other Labour MPs who represent ethnic minority communities make a huge contribution. But it is time that the next generation takes its proper place in ensuring that they get positions of power. A lot of people tell us about the success of Obama, and they also try to bask in the glory of Obama. Well, goodness knows how many young Obamas, male or female, there are in this country, in our communities. They must be so many, they just never have had the opportunity and the chance in order to play a part in ensuring that they are able to take these positions of power. So it's no good just coming to this meeting and participating. Though that is terrifically important. This is the largest gathering of Labour supporters, certainly I have addressed, in a number of, of weeks, indeed months. Normally in the House of Commons, when I speak, people tend to leave the chamber. But this means that there is huge vitality in our communities. You need to make sure that we get proper representation at every level. The final point that I want to make is about the issue of immigration and the BNP. Andrew was quite right. We do have to fight very hard to make sure that we make our case. Neil was right. The far right has been with us for many, many years. Certainly I remember when I first came into this country. Each one of you has a story to tell about either direct or indirect racism. It's not a story you might want to talk about on the platform, but it's a story that you know about, a job that you've applied for, or a member of your community, or a member of your family that has applied for. They didn't get it because they happened to be the wrong colour. Labour has done huge things, but there is more that we have to do. Let us not be hijacked on a debate as to how big this country should be in terms of the number of people entering this country. Let us make sure that we celebrate the contributions that the immigrant community, and I am one of them, actually Peter is one of them, have made to this country. We have made this country what it is through our hard work, our involvement in public services, to stand up at platforms and remind our leaders, whether they're in our party or beyond, that our contribution is second to none about what we have contributed to this country to make it great. My final point to you is about our children. Now, when I first got into Parliament, I looked something like this young man standing over here. I don't know, stand up. I don't know whether he's 30 years of age or younger, but I first got into Parliament when I was 30. He's probably a good deal younger than 30. Oh, no. 
but only 20, actually, he's younger than I looked. Certainly I had a lot of hair, and Tony Douglas was up when he first got involved in politics. <laughs> our children are our future. We spend so much time worrying about our children's education, making sure they get to the best schools, making sure that they do their homework, making sure that they can compete, because we know that there still isn't a level playing field. We need to make sure that we give our children the confidence so that they can compete 